Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a vlog style get in this closet, this closet, you guys. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a little bit late. Let me say that again. I've been losing a little bit of weight so you can hear me clearly. And I have this closet packed. If you guys don't know my story, it's a lot, so I'm not gonna go into it here, but I had like sizes ranging between like 14, 16 to 20 in that closet. I will show I will show you guys all about it, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to Clarifon for sponsoring this video. This has been a lifesaver, this little bitty plug-in air purifier. I absolutely love it because as I age, I am noticing, and you guys who've been with me for a while know that lately in my house, for probably like the past three months, I've been super itchy. My nose has been itchy. I've been sneezing like crazy. So when Clarifon reached out to me and wanted to work with me about an air purifier, I was like, please, yes. And I love the fact that it's so little, it's so convenient. You can take it with you on the go if you're traveling in an RV, or if you even wanna take this on the road with you to, like if you're really sensitive to smells or you have really bad allergies, you can take this with you to um, a hotel or anywhere that you're traveling so you can freshen the air and help those allergens and all that stuff. I've had this for about a month now and I've had it plugged in. When, it, when it's plugged in, it has like a little blue light that's gonna show up. And I just noticed that when I'm downstairs, I don't sneeze as much as I used to. I sure as heck am not like scratching and itching my nose. None of that is going on anymore. And it also helps to like get rid of, you know, the kitchen smells that can happen when you are done cooking. Um, specifically for me, I know when I cook ground beef with taco, se taco seasoning, it always smells so bad. And this has actually really helped with to neutralize that smell. So definitely highly recommend. Again, it's super portable. You cannot beat that, especially if you have problems with allergies or anything like that. Um, I will have a link in my description box down below so you can click on it and it'll save you 20% off of any Clarifon product. So yes, let's go ahead and get into this closet and take it and reorganize and do all of the things because it is a mess. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this closet because it is a hot mess. So let's organize it, get it all into nice pretty bins, and let's do this. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to be working on in this video is going to be organizing this closet. It is insane. I'm going to go through, see like what I don't want, if there's anything that I feel once I do get down into it, I'm really not going to use or wear. Um, I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible because this is a lot of clothes, y'all. Um, but what I'm also gonna do is you guys see there's two bins already in here. I have two coming on the way that's being delivered. And so hopefully with four bins, that will be enough but what I'm going to do is do them in two individual sizes. Like, I'm currently a size 22, I was a size 24, so I'm losing weight, y'all, and it feels amazing. Shameless plug, if you wanna see more of that, go subscribe to my weight loss channel. Um, it's linked down below, and it's called Taking Weight Off. So, with that being said, I will do like size 20, size 18, size 16. I think that that's the smallest that these clothes go down to is a size 16. So we're gonna try to do something along those lines so that way it's not just so overwhelming when we come in here. But we're gonna work on this right now, so let's get to it. So if you guys have watched an organizational video of mine before, you already know the deal, but if you are new here, hi, welcome, and I hope that you stick around. But if you are new here, what I like to do when I am organizing is I like to start with a clean slate. So I am literally taking everything out of this closet, everything that's on the floor, all of the bins. I'm gonna take down all of the clothes that are hanging up in the closet and I'm gonna start with a fresh 
slate. And then what I'm going to do, since I have a variation of different sizes in all of these boxes and containers, I am going to go through declutter. What do I want? What do I want to donate? What is, what do I want to sell? Go through that. And then from there, I will go through each of the sizes and I will do a bin for size 20. I will do a bin for a size 18 and I will do a bin for a size 16. So that way I have easy access as I continue to lose weight. I have, okay, these are my size 20s. Let's go through them. What can we bring to my master closet? What do we need to say in the bin? And I can do that for, you know, size 18 and I can also do that for size 16. So Definitely go check that out and let's get to continuing to organize all of these things and get them in bins. Even if you try, you okay, so I know it's a mess. We've got 20s, 18s, 16s. That's going to my friend. That's going to donate. These I'm going to post on Poshmark along with this one as well. These are already posted. These I'm going to see if I can get some use out of these sweaters. See if I can possibly fit in them now before it warms up too much to where it will no longer be sweater season. So that is everything. Um, I got my delivery order. However, the one thing I wanted, which were those little bins, they didn't come. So I'm going to have to either go up to Walmart tomorrow or sometime next week. Okay, so it's the next day and I went to Walmart and I got three of these bins. Hopefully it'll be perfect for the amount of clothes. I'm really looking at this middle <laughs> being that and then possibly, well for sure, this is going to be able to fit in there. And then this possibly fit in one of those as well. But we also have another one down here too, but this is all 20s, 18, y'all I have a full on wardrobe in the size 18 department. And this is my little starter <laughs> size 16 and possibly under uh, wardrobe or clothes. And then right here is what I'm going to end up posting on Poshmark, so from there to there it's going to be posted again from there over is already on Poshmark so yeah and then these are my weight loss related things that I'm using to kind of measure myself so it looks so much better already I absolutely love it I'll be even happier when I can get these sold and out of the way so again if you guys are interested my Poshmark is down below. If you know someone that's my size or you are my size and you're interested in anything, definitely go check it out. Um, none of this stuff has really been actually worn. I have just done try-ons with it and some things were worn for a video, like a sit-down video, but that's it. Like, worn for like 15-20 minutes and then put back up. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this and section everything out and then label the bins and then once my son gets home we're going to bring the size 20s, no the 18s and the 16s up in the attic and then the size 20s since I'm closest to getting into all of this stuff we're going to leave this down here in this closet so let's get to it. Can't sit 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the containers. I'll let you know how many the size 18 takes up, but I'm gonna do that off camera because this this is just boring. I mean, we've already got to like the tips part and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how everything turns out when it's done because I'm gonna go ahead and put the 16s in the, in the proper bin too. Okay, so here we go. I was able to put the size 18s in two different bins. One is closer to the size 20, one is closer to the size 16, so like 18, 20, and then 16, 18. And then here are my 16s. You really can't see the writing because it's in red, but I don't need it to be in Magic Marker or anything. So when my son gets, gets home, we are going to put these up in the attic. Here's what we have left over. I like to have boxes left over, so I'm just going to throw these up in the attic. I also need to put that with my Christmas stuff, and that is going to go upstairs as well. So let's throw up the before of what the closet looked like. And here's the after. Major, major, major improvement. As a matter of fact, I need to throw that Revlon box out. But yeah. I'm excited. I'm so glad that this is done. By the way, these clothes are clothes that I could possibly wear right now, or I'm gonna see if my friend wants them. I'm not quite sure yet because I'm not sure if we're gonna need sweaters for much longer. So I headed downstairs to show you guys this Clarifon by Cleanoramic air filter. Again, I love the portability of it and it just really helps to keep my air fresh. And what it does is that it has a negative ion generator that uses negative ions to attract and eliminate airborne pollutants, bacteria, viruses, dust, allergens, and more from the air. So basically you just plug it in, um, you see it, as soon as you plug it in, it turns blue, it's portable. I'm about to show you that I put it in my kitchen. You can put it anywhere that you want. You can buy multiple and have these all around the house. These are perfect for real world solutions to combat, combat the indoor air pollution. So if you smoke in your house, you know, pet dander, bacteria. So again, this is so perfect. All you do is literally plug it into any outlet and you are good to go. I really love having this small device. It really has done a great job of purifying the air in my home. So I wanted to talk to you guys real quick. All right, my daughter is going to a, she's not going to a county school. She's going to a school where you have to like be in the lottery. It's like a magnet type school. So it was, it's art infused. She was under the impression, and I was also under the impression that it was gonna be a little more art focused than what it is. I have friends that have their kids that say nothing but good things about it, but then I've also heard some really not so great things about this school too. But I wanted to kind of gauge myself and see, do I like this school, do I not, what's the deal? I needed to form my own opinion and I broke it down to Ava because honestly when she went into the school she honestly thought she was just going to be doing art which she's all for. She didn't think she was going to have to be doing science, math, language arts, none of that stuff. And I had told her before I made the transition to get her in this school was hey I just want to let you know like it is not all art, it is not all fun, you're going to be learning all of the subjects 
she was like, oh, I didn't know that. And then she was like, I still want to try it. So we went ahead and we took her. And for the first half of the school year, she did learn from home. This part of the school year from January to now, she's been doing learn from, no, she's been in school. She hates it, y'all. She is so miserable and they have six weeks left of school. Her math teacher, she literally asked him a question every single day, constantly raising her hand, raising her hand. He'll come over and she'll be like, I don't understand that. And he'll be like, do this, do this, do this. It's no, like the explanation is no different than what he had just taught. It's not, you know, trying to, he's not trying to get to know like, what is your special technique? Cause you know, some children need to learn. You can teach one child this way and teach another child this way. This child gets it this way. And this child is like, oh my gosh. I, and, and maybe he doesn't know the different ways. I feel like teachers, like math teachers should. I feel like most math teachers should. I don't know. There's a special way that she may need to be taught these things. And I have emailed him when she was doing learn from home because she was struggling from doing learn from home and he emailed me back and was like let's set up a conference if you'd like that we can do that blah, blah blah i'd love to meet you i'd love to meet ava this and that and i said yes let's do that please he never emailed me back i emailed him the other day because ava came home she was crying well she didn't come home i have to go get her every day but she was crying she was upset i was like what's wrong i had a really bad day what's well what happened math class now i'm like i'm like used to this now what's wrong had a bad day let me guess math class so he just doesn't he, he comes up to her and he's like so do you want to talk about the the email that your mom the nice email that your mom sent me last night and i was like wait hold up this adult teacher went to you, the child, instead of coming to me, you can call me, you have my email, you have my phone number, you have all the ways to get in touch with me. Why did you not go to my, why did you go to my child and not me? I was livid, but I let it slide because I'm like, okay, she, she, she wants to go to the school. There's only like a few weeks left of school. Like, let's just, let's just do this. So then last night or yesterday I go pick her up and she's telling me really bad day math class. They are learning for this really big test that all students in Georgia from the ages of like, I think it's like three and up, like not three, uh, grade three and up. It could be fourth and up. I can't remember what it is. But it's a really big test and if you don't pass it then they can hold you back and you will fail whatever grade you're in they can you know offer like uh summer school and stuff like that but she doesn't want to do that like we want to have a fun summer so she is so anxious every day this is all i've heard from her for the past two weeks i'm so scared that i'm gonna fail this test i'm so scared that i'm gonna go back into fifth, fifth grade i'm so scared i'm so scared and I'm just like, baby, no, it's okay, it's okay. And I didn't think, like, I should have known. Mom intuition should have known it is this big of a deal because this teacher could friggin' care less to really, you know, in the email I stated, like, is there anything that I can do on my end? My daughter is really struggling. She got a 66 on a test the other day. She told me he didn't. The other school she was going to, y'all, they made sure you saw all of their grades. And if they got an F on anything, you had to sign off on it. I was just, I was livid. I called the, the County Board of Education and said, look, I know there's only like six weeks left. What can I do? And she was like, you need to call the school you're zoned for. So I called the school. She's supposed to get back with me today. It's like 1144. I'm like, if she does not call me by 1230, I am calling her. I want to withdraw my my daughter from this school. There's only like, after this week, let me see. Because today is Thursday. So one, two, three, four, five. After this week, there's five weeks left of school. And you may think, Jill, just let her go, like that's only five weeks. But to a child who's struggling, 
five weeks can seem like an eternity. For a child who's struggling to learn what the teacher is teaching her that's going to be on this, this Georgia milestone test that she has to take, that is pure torture for her to go. And, and that's all she thinks about. I can tell in her demeanor. When I told her that there's a possibility that she could go back to her old school, I have seen the Ava that I have not seen since for a, for a year, since she started this school. It was like literally like night and day. So my question to you guys is this, would you guys make the move this far into the school year? And number two, would you guys, what would you guys do if the school, the county school that you're zoned for will not accept your child? What would you guys do? Because I'm sitting here like, I haven't gotten a call back from the school. I'm kind of getting a little like, I don't know. Are they going to let her back in the school? I will literally go to the school that she's at right now and withdraw her at this very moment. And get them all the paperwork they need to see at this very moment today and have her this be her last day. This is how adamant about the fact that my child has been miserable at this school. So this close, this far into the school year, what would you guys do if the school that she wants to go to says, I'm sorry, it's just too late in the school year, she can't come back? Let me know what you guys think because I'm very intrigued. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Let me know your comments down below. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the whole little closet and this little vlog kind of vlog clean with me story time kind of video. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely trying to switch things up on my channel because I feel like it's broken. <laughs> I'm like, it's broken. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. So I'm definitely bringing back trans, by the way. I know you guys love them. I tested it out on my weight loss channel. So if you guys didn't know, I have a weight loss channel. Go check that out. It's linked down below. Uh, it's taking weight off. I was doing trans over there and people loved them, but I feel like, I feel like I want to keep consistent regular try-ons on this channel like like I used to do at least once a week and then or maybe every other week and then over there on that channel I would like to focus more on hey lost some weight it's time to go shopping it's time to show off a new body and it's more so things I know are like 100% my style that I'm definitely going to be wearing. Try-ons here, I kind of do more, out, like it's not really not my style because everything is my style, but I don't necessarily wear dresses a lot, but I will show a lot of dresses because I know a lot of you like to wear dresses a lot. And so I kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit more in these try-ons, which I, again, I still love everything. It's just not part of my everyday wardrobe. Whereas over there on taking weight off, I definitely am shopping to wear these things on a daily basis, not for special occasions and stuff like that. So I hope that that makes sense. Also a huge thank you to Clarifon for sponsoring this video. Again, I love this thing. I'm going to purchase more so I can have them all over my home. They're portable. I love that aspect of them. They're portable. Take them anywhere and everywhere with you. You just, I love it. I love it. You can't beat the price. The link is down below for you to save 20% off. Again, huge thank you to Clarifon for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.